Aloha everybody, welcome back, grab your favorite hot beverage as I go over what happened these past couple of weeks. First up, we have Phoenix vs. Uber Eats, the track of choice for this one, the Akagi Downhill, the one recently released by uh, the modding group EK. First up, Phoenix's Epic Gamer versus Uber Eats Adam Cat. Both of them driving the Amuse S2K, and Adam Cat dominates Epic Gamer, beating him at 2 to 0. Next up, we got Dog Gamer versus Kassan. Dog Gamer, leader of Phoenix, and Kassan, a member of Uber Eats. Both of them driving the FD2 Civic, released by DDM. Dog Gamer 1, Kassan 2. They, we're in the danger zone right now since it's a 5v5. And But right now we have Mayhem versus Athalos at Mayhem of Phoenix, Athalos of Uber Eats. Both of them driving an MR2 and Mayhem dominates Athalos 2 to 0. Next up, we got Mr. Kid versus Flying Dutch. Both of them driving the A86 tuned, but Dutch did not show up, resulting in a DNF. So now it's all tied up between the two teams, and now we got Kaisar of Phoenix versus RCA of Uber Eats, both of them driving the GMP EK9, the one that revs up to 11,000 RPM. You don't want to rev it up that high because you don't get torque at all that high in the power band, and you should probably be shipped in at like 10,000. But regardless, regardless, Kaisar has lost to RCA 1-2. to two. Final results for this team battle, Phoenix 2, Uber Eats 3. As for team changes, though, Impact Aurora has seen Spade of Darkness and Vermelho join. Swift has seen Natuan join. Sideheart Motorsports has seen Kimmy join. And Phoenix, uh, yeah, Phoenix, you remember that team that we were just talking about? Yeah. Soul Skyline and Frogger have joined their ranks. But now on to some more unfortunate news. I'll just spill it out. This will be the last episode of the Weekly Toge Recap. Yeah, you heard that correct. There will not be another episode after this one. This isn't something that just popped in my head the other day. It's been something that I've been considering for almost a year now. I'm not getting tired of commentating, it's actually the opposite. It's because of the Weekly Toga Recap that I enjoy commentating. Otherwise, I never would have done a 12-hour stream for the 24 hours of Kamikaze. What's bogging me down, though, is the constant research. Every time I go and record an episode, I dread finalizing the findings for the week. For this one, it took me a little bit of time just to say, okay, let's just sit down and just do it. I thought with minimal editing, it would help prevent burnout, and it did for a while. I'm, I'm glad that you know doing minimal editing helps keep this going for a while longer, but eventually it just became a situation of, hold on guys, I'll be right back. I need to go record recap, and the guys I'm referring to could be family, it could just be on my friend. It just ate up my day, and I found that there's never a good time for me to record it, and now it just feels less a hobby and more of a job. So, before I go, I guess I'll give you my reasoning for wanting to start the Weekly Toga Recap, since I gave you the reasoning for ending it. The reason why I wanted to start the podcast was twofold. Firstly, I couldn't find a place to get all the information regarding events, battles, the likes. And secondly, I wanted to force myself to get better at public speaking, as well as, well as speaking on the fly. And it's not at the level where I'd love to be at. I'm not sure how long it'd take for me to reach that level. But... I will say, at least looking at how many times I have to edit myself and everything over the years, I've I feel like I've improved it quite a bit. But that is 
everything under the sun that has happened these past couple of weeks. I'm Mr. Potato Man, for the final time, signing off.